Welcome to another Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn about Canva Magic Studio's Magic Switch. Say, for example, this is your design. You can access Magic Switch here on the toolbar above. This is where you want to go if you want to switch your design into a different size or if you want to turn your design into a different format, such as a Canva doc. This is also where you can find the new Translate feature. For resizing, you just either select Preset Sizes over here, or input your desired dimensions using the Custom Size option. If you want to resize your design into different sizes simultaneously, you can do that now by simply ticking check boxes. For example, social media. There are different social media platform sizes you can choose from. So if you want to select multiple sizes, you can do so by ticking the check boxes. You can actually also select other formats as well, and not just social media formats, but print products, presentations, videos, websites, and even more. But Canva does have a maximum number of sizes that you can resize at once. You can resize up to five sizes at once. Deselect one size to continue resizing. And if you'd like to see more details, you can click on this arrow to see what kind of sizes you've selected. In case you want to remove some sizes, you can just simply untick the checkbox. And once you're done, click on continue. So this is the preview window where you can see the preview of your designs. And once you're ready, you can click on Resize to 3 Designs. Another thing about Magic Switch we haven't really talked about in detail yet are the Translate tool and the Transform into Doc tool. So this is what we're going to focus on today. Click on Translate. Select the language you'd like your text to be translated to for example, French, and select the pages you'd like to have translated. Once you're done, click on Done, and click on Translate. By the way, if you'd like to translate the existing design without creating a copy, you can tick this checkbox. Otherwise, you can leave it be. So let's try. and it has been translated successfully. Let's go back to the original. Now let's go to transform into doc. Let's click on it. Choose a text format. You have six options for now. Summary, all text, blog post, email, poem, and song lyrics. I'm going to choose blog post this time. And once we're ready, let's transform it into a doc file. So our design has been copied and transformed. Let's try to see it. Let's click on open doc. And let's see. And there you have it. So basically, those are the things you can do using Canva's Magic Switch. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you also for your feedback on our previous videos. We'll strive to keep improving. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. See you in the next one. Stay creative and keep on creating.